So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to write some automation on this vocal. I'll select the vocal track, type V for volume, and that adds a volume envelope for this track. I'm going to right click on this button and switch it to write mode. Then we can write automation on the fly using this fader or knob. When you're in the sun and I'm lost in the shade, then who's supposed to lead the way? And to hear it back, we switch it to either trim read or read mode, and it'll play back what we just recorded. When you're in the sun and I'm lost in the shade. Let's say we wanted to tweak it, maybe make the second line a bit louder. We could switch the mode to touch and just touch the fader during the second line and let go after. When you're in the sun and I'm lost in the shade. Before it looked like this, and after it looked like this. But there are times where we want to trim the automation without deleting it or rewriting it. So let's put this back to trim read. And let's say we want to tweak the automation we just recorded. We could use the trim envelope by right clicking and choosing it right here, trim volume. But we could do this a much easier way using razor editing. Again, let's say we want to raise the second line. We can just create a razor edit, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and right drag to create a razor edit or razor edit area. But an easier way, if you don't want to right drag and hold down a modifier, is to go to the toolbar and choose the razor editing button. And now we can just left drag and do the same thing. Just draw it for the second line. And now, we can just grab over here, notice how the cursor changes, and move this line up and down. And instead of replacing any previous automation, like touch mode did, it'll just trim the automation we currently have, based on the razor edit area. So we can bring it up or down. And the best part about this is we could do this on the fly, while we're listening back. It'll adjust just like a fader. When you're in the sun and I'm lost in the shade. So we can tweak line by line, phrase by phrase using razor edits. When you're in the sun and I'm lost in the shade. I'm noticing that this line is a bit quieter and this note is too loud. So I can zoom in closer, set a razor edit for this section, bring it up. And I'm lost. And I'm lost. And then set up another one over here and bring it down. And I'm lost in the shade. Maybe bring this one down a bit. Lost in the shade. Maybe bring this section up a bit and just tweak note by note line by line, or phrase by phrase, the volume of each section. And again, it happens on the fly. So we could hear every change we make. Lost in the shade. Then who's supposed... We could bring this one up. Then who's supposed... Then who's supposed to lead the... Bring this section up. Who's supposed to lead the way? And hear it all back with each phrase or note being perfect. When you're in the sun and I'm lost in the shade, then who's supposed to lead the way? Now we did this with volume automation, which happens after our effects. So if you have a compressor or any dynamics on the track, it's gonna happen afterwards. So there are times where you wanna do this before the effects. So you could do this 
with a different envelope instead. Let's clear and delete this, clear envelope, and instead we'll right click this button and choose volume prefix instead. And again, that creates an envelope, but this envelope is pre effects. So it's going to happen before any compressors or dynamic plugins you're using, which could be helpful for things like vocals, where you don't want to hit the compressor too hard. You want to smooth it out before, but we could do the same thing. We could right click and switch it to write mode. Now we could write to the pre effects envelope instead. Again, we'll grab the fader. When you're in the sun and I'm lost in the shade, then who's supposed to lead the way? And again, we could tweak it. Let's put this back to trim read using razor edits. I'm noticing the second line is too low. And the benefit of using this envelope is if we bring it up, we're going to see the change in the waveform. So we can line things up visually as well. The sun, and I'm lost in the shade. We could tweak it so this line is louder, and we'll see the result over here. So we can make it smoother visually. And I'm lost in the shade. Bring this down a bit. And I'm lost in the shade. Bring this up a bit. And I'm lost in the shade. And I'm lost in the shade. Then who's supposed Bring this up, and we'll see it visually up here. So we can do it by eye, but we should always do it based on what we hear. Then who's supposed to leave? Bring this down a bit. And who's supposed to lead the way? Supposed to lead the way. And we're done. We can zoom out and hear it all back again. Perfect phrase by phrase. When you're in the sun and I'm lost in the shade. Supposed to lead the way. And because we did it with a pre-FX volume envelope, it's going to be smoother before it hits a compressor or any dynamic plugins you're using. But I feel it's a lot quicker and more precise to work line by line using razor edits and trimming each envelope section, phrase by phrase. So that's pretty much it. That's trim automation with razor editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.